Hello everybody, the Destroyer here, and welcome back to another live commentary game of the Rise of Witch King, patch 2.02, version 5.0.1. Today we have a 4v4 on Tournament Hills, because we didn't pick a better map. <laughs> Tournament Hills kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway, we are Angmar, and I'm just going to disregard everything else and look away. I like to play blind. I don't really, I just don't pay attention. I can place that better. Try that and that, and then put them in there. It seems more reasonable than what I was thinking before. Cram one in here. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good spot. Alright, so what's going on? We have Sector as Dwarves. We have Emperor as Men of the West. And we have J2 Shot as Men of the West. I hear Sector has uh, made some good friends with Bushit lately. <laughs> I read on the forums. Anyway. That was sarcasm, by the way, in case you were wondering. Let's click Hall of the King's Men and build ourselves a, a furnace. We can't build a structure there. Yeah. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, well, my plan for this game is to uh, lose horribly in the most violent way possible. As always. It's usually my battle plan, but... I might mix it up and win once in a while. We'll see. Alright, I think we'll stay on three mills for now. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think three mills and then build another Hall of the King's Men is a good idea. I like having two Hall of the King's Men as Angmar for a start. Plus it helps defend that first farm up there. And doubles my production rate, assuming I have the money. And we just about have enough. There we go. I'll send my first battalion up here to claim this outpost unless the dwarves take it, which he probably won't. Maybe? No idea. I'll keep this up here just in case I forget. Work, or it's the thrall horse should I get another thrall, or should I get... Yeah, we'll get another thrall. It'll be done before he gets anywhere anyway. No point queuing it up and wasting time. Build now. I go to get you all of the king's men. Alright, we got another one of those. Who shall I bring to our I Come on. Run, you bastard. Let's put this back over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot my builder. Let's throw water on these guys. It must be done. We're Angmar. That water's gotta be cold. Okay, let's get him out of there. <laughs> yeah. Was it worth it? I think so. Alright, I'm not going to think so once I lose my builder, though. Right, sector's going for forward mine there. Yeah, opposing team does have Bell Spove on it, so that's not ideal. We do have to do some, some stuff. Alright, you also come this way. Oh shit, we're up against dwarves. That's not a deal. I guess we'll go for rally call. No! Stupid white. I guess we can just split up, ignore him. That sounds like an idea. Right, I'll throw it down on these guys. Let's go for that. Oh, shit, he went for the battle wagon! That's terrible. Alright, we're gonna start spamming uh, the other guys here. Actually, we almost have enough for a wall there. I think we'll just save up a bit. I think that'll be fun. Unfortunately, that battle wagon did wreck my guys. Come on, do as much damage as possible. They really don't do any damage, do they? Ooh. That's not good. Not good at all. Perhaps we'll go Morgamir instead. He's better against the dwarves. But these Rudar Spearmen will never be able to kill any Guardians. And now they're leveled to, uh... Shit. On a stick. Right, let's replace that, I guess. Oh, nice. We made him cancel. Alright, he's gonna move. I won't chase. Keyboard's freaking out there. 
What is this? Oh. Actually, what we could do. Possibly capture their outpost with this guy. That'd be kind of funny. He got into position. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's take it. Be quick. There we go. Hopefully he'll help out. I think we need to upgrade to, uh... Actually, not that one. We need to upgrade to Black Newman Orleans now, I think. But since there's a battle wagon still out there somewhere, we do have to keep these guys around. Perhaps we'll upgrade both? No, that'd be a waste. We'll just upgrade one, get another one of these. Alright, enemy troops. Let's kill them. I hate enemy troops. Men of Angmar! If we can level him to two, that'd be great. And he one-shots a dwarf every hit, so that's good. Let's bring him down quickly, giving a lots of life. Lots of experience, I mean. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There we go. That should help out. Hopefully our ally can deal with that. Oh, my keywords are freaking out. Somebody leave? No. Where did all these doors come from? Shit. Let's get back around here. Axors, I guess, might be the best idea we have. There we go. We're probably going to lose this building. I don't have any way of uh, stopping that, I don't think. So let's just cancel if we can, come on. Do we get the money? I don't think so. Sadly. Alright, we'll upgrade this one instead. We'll build another one. We'll get some more thralls on the field. There we go. Let's push in with him. Let's make sure we don't attack this stupid white like it wants to. I know what it wants. Black Newman Marines, though, if they can level up to two, that'd be great. Oh, nice, he's got a Prince Marine as well. Let's queue these up to go over there. this way. That's the wrong button. There we go. Get one of these. Get some of them. I haven't seen the battle wagon, so I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, he's going for a sneak attack. Very nice. We'll take down as many mine shafts as we can. Get more power points as well, and then process. Did we take this and actually keep it? No. That's wishful thinking, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we're getting experience for our Morgan here. Let's get back down here. Let's see if we can finish that off. I guess they'll just go for attack on that. Right, we're still working on building those. That's fine. Looks like he's got himself a Gloin. Finish off this battalion. That'd be great. Do that first. First and foremost. We are so close. I'm going to have to run. No, don't die on me. Ooh. Alright, let's, let's cue his ass back base. Definitely a useful thing to use. If you don't know how to do that, it's alt. You hold alt when you click and you can queue up a line of him to move around. Pretty nice. Oh shit. That would have been embarrassing. Dying to a white. Oh, what are you doing, you psychos? There we go. Alright, well, we haven't killed him, but we brought him down to basically nothing. So I'm going to Dark Iron Forge and finish him off. And if the left team can stay alive, that'd be great. Alright. Let's do this. Oh crap, the elves. That's not good. Let's see if we can get get the money and get out of here. 
Okay, we're gonna need Dark Rangers. I wasn't expecting elves to show up. Hmm. Oh crap, I don't have any uh, command points. So we can Morgul Blade him. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Dies immediately. Freaking elves in the, in the trees, man. Please back. Shit, he didn't yell for help at all. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks real bad, in fact. If we can kill Gloin, that'd be great. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Shoot, we're gonna have to hope our uh, ally there can do something. When we costs quite a bit to revive. We're not gonna die at least. That's a brand. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Right, we'll get him back. He is doing well. Push in with what we have. There they are. So we're gonna have to go help with what we have, which is not much at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get Dark Rangers and more Thralls. Yeah, I need more resources. It's the worst. Yeah, unfortunately, he did kill my army off, so I couldn't do much. Ah, Marcos is the worst. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a Tom Bombadil over here? Why? Why must there be? Let's keep our guys to go behind our base. There's an idea. Get a troll stone thrower as well. Why not? The dwarves have come, maybe come back. Oh, great. And he's lost his brand. Oh no. Hmm. Unfortunately, he's not going to make a whole lot of ground. Keeps killing my thralls before they get their guys out. Come on, get in there. Oh, they died instantly, pretty much. Let's have this target them if I can. Let's get more of these. More Dark Rangers. Come on, Morgan Mary, you're taking forever. Forever and ever. That's so why I don't like playing Angmar, because with my Thralls, I have a tendency to forget to build them. Great. Now they got Silverthorns. Absolutely lovely. How am I supposed to stop that? Hmm. I honestly don't know. Seems our allies are dying as well. Shit. Yeah, we're just getting eight alive as soon as we come out. That's all I can do. This is annoying. No. I'm being doubled and I have no idea where the other guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Don't 
Don't know what he's planning to accomplish. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah, you can't really let elves get up to a Silverthorn level. Plus, he doesn't have a mine over here. Build a mine over here. What are you doing? <laughs> Kill him. Alright. Well. Just, I'll put up a fight, but nothing I can do, really. Guess I'll upgrade my fort. Because reasons. And then I'll get a, uh... Full stone thrower expansion, because I can. Destroy this, save some money. Yeah, an army of Mirkwood archers and silver thorns. If we don't have a way to stop it, it's going to wreck us. And unfortunately, catapults don't actually do as much as I would like. Especially without the upgrades. It does good damage, but it'll just heal up. Let me just attack the archers. Ah, uh, I guess we'll get snowbind. No. Sucks. This sucks. <laughs> oh well. Yellow wins some, you lose some. This is definitely one of those situations where we lose some. How's the other side doing? Let's let's help him out. Not gonna do much, but, you know. I can't use it. I can freeze my base though. I'll hold out, kill a few more guys, but I am inevitably dead. I literally have nothing. And I see literally no reason to go build off somewhere and draw at the game like a lot of people do. If we were winning on one side, maybe. But clearly we are not winning on the other side. So it's kind of pointless. I will make a hole of the Kingsmen though, just to keep myself going. Ugh, Treebeard and Ants. Who is this? C12 D13. Well, he got me. <laughs> there you go. Get some wall hubs. Play defense. Uh, not gonna work, unfortunately. Alright, don't look into my base. It's disgusting. Let's see what goes on over here, I suppose. I'm assuming there's still a fort there. Yeah, there is. This is a build plot. They just haven't seen it yet. Surprising. They've gone all the way to this game. Late stage of the game, they haven't seen the fort yet. There's two dwarves over here? I guess Bellspot was dwarves. And the elves from this side of the map came over to save me? Or crush me? <laughs> to save me, I wish. Alright. Screw you. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, joy. Well, that sucks. But... Not the end of the world. I won last game pretty well. This one's completely 360 of that one. I guess it'd be at 180, wouldn't it? 360 mean I come back full circle and still lose. <laughs> so yeah, complete 180 turnaround. Oh well, who's this? Mako. Or Mako, I think it's Mako though. I might even ask him how to pronounce it at one point. I forgot. Pretty sure it's Mako. Like macaroni and cheese. But not quite. And G2 shots over here on the side. He does have the boiling oil expansion. I always recommend getting that. It's fantastic. Fortress defense. And of course the storm players over here doing stuff. <laughs> Whatever he's doing over there. Well, Bellspa pushes through the middle with a very strong army. Three battalions of zealots, two battalions of pikes, and a Gloin. Ugh. They got upgrades as well. Do they have armor? No. They just have the forge blades, though, but that's all you need, really. 
that will make them do pretty good damage once they get to the fort, if they get to the fort, which they will, because there's like nothing to stop him, except for that battalion of horses. It'll take it down very quickly. Will he will he go in though? Yep. Indeed he will. We'll watch Belspub take down uh, Emperor's Fortress here. Should be a fairly quick endeavor, I'd imagine, for the dwarves. What levels is glowing? Who even has Shake Foundation? And by the way, it does automatically open gates. Someone <laughs> someone's like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't open gates. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does open gates. I've used it before to open gates. The so Glowing Shake Foundation does open gates. Even says so. Actually pretty useful. Will he have enough though? Oh yeah, definitely. These dwarves here, nowhere near dead. There's one rebuild though. Are going with Blade Master? Will he kill Glowing in time? No, nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Glowing is dead, but the fortress has fallen. Unfortunate for him. Looks like we have the elves tearing apart the dwarves over here. Not really surprising. Once the elves get to that point, it's very hard to stop, especially with dwarves, I feel. Because they're so slow. You need a lot of fire catapults and uh, battle wagons, possibly, to counter this army. Which neither of me has. Oh, he has some battle wagons now, but the battle wagons can't come in from the front, of course. You also need Prince Brand. As his slam shot's pretty good against the Mirkwoods, but if he gets targeted down, he dies fairly quickly. As you would expect. Now J2 Shot's Fortress is going to be the next victim, I think. This Emperor's is a bit farther back. And nowhere near any enemies as of yet. But we have Mako leading the charge with Boromir here. The man of action. He's got lots of tower guards, which are, of course, the upgraded pikemen for Men of the West. With the Eagles' help, they will take it down fairly easily. And they've already used the rebuild as well. Down goes the fort. Now they just gotta clean up J2 Shot's buildings, and then they just have to kill Emperor off here, who has already lost his fort, actually. I forgot. <laughs> I literally just witnessed it go down. J2 Shot is dead now. That just leaves Emperor by himself. Oh no, it doesn't. Sector's still here. Although, now Sector's the only one left. There he goes. Well, that was a crushing defeat. <laughs> Perhaps the team weren't very fair. But, that happens. No biggie. Alright, well hopefully the next game goes a little better. So, I guess, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that somewhat. <laughs> Can't always win, unfortunately. In fact, you should be used to me losing by now on camera, but that's all right. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next live commentary game of the Rise of the Witch King Patch 2.02 as soon as this is done loading any day now. There it goes. I will see you guys next time.